Hello, my name's Andy. I'd like to show you how to improve your Creedy X Max. When I first got this machine, I was over the moon with it. But the only thing it really niggled me was the bed height. It would alter. So every time you did a one, uh, you might get a light touch on the bed or it might be a heavy touch. It was never consistent. It wouldn't come back up to the same place every time. Everybody turned around and said it was the springs or it was moving with the adjustment underneath and that um unfortunately it's not that um i did change the springs i put it onto uh, silicone rubbers which is very good i'm not going to change that and i changed underneath so they tighten up well uh, but uh, still had the same problem uh, so i thought i'd investigate into it a bit more i made myself a piece to fit on the side of the extruder uh, and uh, I'll show you now there we are uh, now I'm gonna make it so that I've got a download to that anybody wants it uh, it bolts onto the bottom part you need to position it so uh, when the holes go in you can get the nuts on the other side but bring it as forward as you can in that position so it goes onto the plate now what this does is uh, it gives me a good measurement. Uh, I'll put the gauge in. If you want to do this, you need to get a gauge and a 50 mil extension. Uh, I'll just move it along into place there. And switch it on. Now I'm saying I'm gonna get a noise going, I'm gonna switch this on, but I'll show you. Uh, so it's quite consistent in what it comes up to. Uh, uh, now, if you're using the gauge, always use it on the fast, because the simple reason is, if you use it on the other one, it will hit against the side. So, we'll just let that go down. It's just uh, setting its base up and coming up. Okay, we're getting near the top now, so um, we'll get our measurement. .01 difference in the setting, we could do that a hundred times and it might stay the same or it might be more than a hundredth of a millimetre really <laughs> nothing to wear, it's going to have to change itself. Um, now I get the setting consistent, I've done it hundreds and hundreds of prints and I've never had to alter it since. It's, the bed stays level, everything, so it's, it's a definite improvement. I also sent it to um, Creedy, they tested it and said that uh, it's a good improvement to the machines and they might well be using it in the future for the, um, the alteration I've done, which I'll show you in a minute. Now what this uh, gauge does, it tells me that it's uh, very accurate and what I've done, I've taken the metal brackets out, which hold the micro switches normally and uh, made these up it supports the micro switch from underneath which before it had no support at all and i've also taken the spring metal off the top which is which normally goes down on the switch which makes it even more accurate obviously there's one each side uh, and you will find that this is a easy fix um, but it makes all the difference in the world. The only time I ever have to move my bed now is if I'm doing some different material that I need it tighter on the bed, as such as nylon. This is the picture of the old ones and followed by the picture of the new ones. This download is on Colts. Look under Queedy X Max. If you find that this has improved your machine, which it should do, could you please come back and give me a positive? This is download is free of charge for the first week, and then I'm just asking for a minimal fee. So if you want to do it, do it now.